video, gross. If you're gonna tell me that you have that that you could just play the game for about like 20 hours, it says, and and or or get 500 matches in, right? Yeah. And then it says, oh, you unlock the Duck Hunt stage, or you unlock the Mega Man stage, or whatever, because you got 500 matches in. Yeah. That's one thing, and then I'm like, okay, I accept that. But if you're gonna tell me that, but if Nintendo started pulling some bullshit, like, you could you could have done the 500 matches, or you could have bought, the, bought the, the stage out, right? I'm like, no, that's bullshit! <laughs> like... Oh, wow. Like, why would I, why would I pay? Why would I pay to, to get a stage that's already built in the game? She has a lot of health, fuck. Like, that's, 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 like, bullshit, like... Wow, one-hit kill with Titty. <laughs> titty... I forgot that he's, like, really strong, but you, like, have him temporarily just taking, uh, Lloyd's spot in your party, who I've named Cunt. Whoa, smash attack! And that thing just exploded, which is gonna hurt me. What is that, a toaster? That's a fan. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Atomic Robo. Sorry I haven't been talking much, people. I'm just trying to remember where to go. By using a guide, because this game is confusing. Alright. Just just imagine, if all, just imagine if all your favorite games had had microtransactions. Oh, please, no. It's like, like just any any game, for instance. Like Please don't. No. <laughs> like, I can't even, like, I can't even think of a game that, w that, would, that would make sense to have anything of that like that. Like, if you were playing Mega Man... Oh, you want? Oh, you wanna? You wanna get an upgrade to Mega Buster? Well, you have to pay two ninety nine for this. You don't have to wait till the end of the game. You can just get it now. <laughs> That's like, what the fucking point then? Or if you were playing, I don't know. Like if you were playing Crash Bandicoot, and it was like, oh, you want to get the last power up? You want to get the last power up that you could only get in the last level now? Um, okay. Um, did that's a five ninety nine surcharge for you? <laughs> Or if you were playing... Well, I just thought of something, actually, at Crash Bandicoot. What? You, you know how in certain parts of the game, you have to, like... If you're trying 100% it... No, you got it. Um, yeah. You can have some if you want. That's why I bought it. For us to, uh, share. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me too. Um, yeah, he loves Alberts, too. You blame him? No. I don't blame anyone for loving Alberts. Alberts is fucking awesome. I know. I grew up on that shit. Um... Yeah, so, what was I going to say before? Oh, yeah, um, back to microtransactions. Imagine if, for Crash Bandicoot, if, you know how to complete the game 100% for levels, you need to go back to them later to be able to explore later parts you couldn't earlier to try 100% a level? But, yes, I know what you're saying. Well, imagine if it's like, oh, or you can do it now and pay like 30 bucks or something to be able to go to that area now. 30 bucks? I just paid- I only paid 30 bucks for the game anyway, what the fuck? Well, you gotta pay another 30 if you want 100% That's game. like- no, you don't see- see that's- that's <laughs> the bullshit. Very quickly. That's the bullshit, it, and it's the same thing, and I'm- and I'm not trying to, like, compare them side by side exactly, but that's the bullshit sometimes when Capcom would literally just say, Oh, we have this content in the game, but we're gonna lock it against DLC. Capcom's been guilty of that for years. But that's not what a microtransaction is. That's a different though. But like, it's co but that's like kind of the same practice though. That was kind of like pre, like microtransactions era. Downloadable transactions. Yeah, where it's like on disc DLC, but even though if it's on disc and you have a code, it's still charging you for them. Yeah, I understand. Sadly, a uh, great game dear to my heart did this too. Mass what? Effect Two. Oh yeah. Oh, Titty, what's up? Yeah, sadly, Mass Effect 2 also did that. Why did that woman have flat-ass hair? I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna make this, uh, save file 2. Because there's a rare item that you can get with Lloyd before you fight and unlock Titty that, like, I can't now because I don't have my party, and so therefore those gangsters that Titty's in charge of, we can't fight because they're under him. But if you fight those guys, if you're lucky, they drop flamethrowers, and you can fill up an inventory with them, and they're really strong for Lloyd. Or Cunt, in our case, because that's what we named them. Yeah. So I'm like, ooh, okay. Um, but yeah. The buff dude. Well, no, Lloyd is the scrawny nerd. No, I know. Teddy slash Titty is what I named him, uh, as a play on his name, is 
who we have right here. Whose arms look very weird, swinging down like that. Wait, you'll see in a sec, look. <laughs> Looks like he's using a shake weight. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find my way to that cave. Where are you trying to go anyway? I'm trying to get to this cave that leads to Mount Atoy, and I don't know where the fuck it is. I found it before. I don't know, I, I've, I've been seeing the same thing over and over for about like a half hour already. It's not my fault, this game's confusing. Why don't you look up a guide? I have a guide, and it's not really helpful with finding this place. I know it's by trees. You've been by trees all your life. Whatever, man, this game's confusing. Don't be mad at me that this game's so confusing. I'm not mad, I'm just wondering where the fuck we're going. I've been running around in circles for hours. Yes, because this game's confusing. Hold on. No, no, I know it's by trees. I think it has to be over here somewhere. And you can leave me alone now, Starman. And Death... Okay, Starman and Death Barbot. I'm not fighting them, though. Okay. I'm trying to find this fucking place. I think I found it. I hope so. Well, I just ran into a building I haven't seen, so... Had I found it? Yes, I found it! This is to mount the toy. Yeah, I go through these dangerous caves. I found a present. A katana? Well, let's see, what is... Hmm. I mean, I might give it to him, I'm not sure. Okay, I don't know what that fucking thing is, I'm killing it though, look. It's called a bringer, look at, look at that. It looks like you're cooking eggs. It looks what like... What is it called? Bringer? A bringer? Yeah. I don't know how its B moves are even attack like like attacking me. I mean I had a Franklin badge. I mean plus Teddy took inventory from Cunt before, so Okay. I'm just gonna run from this thing. No. Okay, can you run? No, he said no. Come on! Yeah, I think you have to fight that guy. I can't, he's too tough! Asshole. There uh, you go. That looks like a zombie thief. Thank god that the game lets you do that. Okay. So we're going through Mount Atoy now, so that's a good thing. Or as this ROM hack calls it, Mount Holy Oli. What? Yeah. Holy Oli? Yeah. You wanna know something ironic? What? A toy? Yeah. Shigesato e toy? Yeah. I know, the guy that made this. He did that on purpose. He might have. I don't know if there's a might of a bad dude. Okay, you can fuck off. Come on. No. Okay, good. Well... No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um... See you in the next episode.